guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do the subscription box split collab update. I'm doing this collab with Jamie from Jimmy Jinx and Aura from Aura McGuire, I'm pretty sure. Lindsay from Lindsay Sal, she is in this collab. I don't know if she's going to do an update because she had her baby a few months ago, maybe last month. I can't really remember. But I don't know if she's going to do her update, but she will be linked down below. As you can see, this is the new channel, so there's not my latest updates for this project. But I have the whole playlist from my other channel linked down below and saved on this channel. So you can go watch the other projects and updates and stuff like that. I will always have them linked down below for you guys. So let's just start with my empties, my progress and then my new items because we are adding 10 more items into this project each month so it's getting hard and it is hard so this is my small bag of empties this month some sample products i have used up is the dylan dio leave hand cream last time i did depot it into a container this was very thick and very moisturizing but at the same time it was very dry i have put the large size full size in this product because i need to get through it um, i will never buy this ever no then we have this nordic tan soft tan napkin i will insert the picture here that i posted on instagram when i pulled this out it was completely white so i was like where is the soft tan <laughs> there's no soft tan on this and then it turns out it is a gradual tan so you put it on smear it all over your body or arms or stomach or something and then after some hours it will appear but it never did i didn't like this because it didn't do anything so maybe it was too old or something i don't know but nope this is not for me then we have this one this does nothing for my lashes this is the revital lash advanced serum conditioner i can't really see what this does and it only made my lashes wet I think so it comes with this small brush I don't like this um, no no and this is very expensive I don't see what it did it did nothing I have finally finally finished these two nail polishes last night I did my last manicure this is way too goopy and there's nothing left in the tube and if there is something it's so goopy that it makes a mess all over my nails so this is the tease cosmetics top coat head over heels nail lacquer and it was a green gold ish top coat i have it on my nails now i was up here last time and now i have finished it i did go all in for the glitter this month but yeah as you can see it is i like the applicator i like the bottle and it was it is so pretty this bottle then we have the appeal for nail polish in Vanda Pure Delight. It is what I have under the glitter nail polish. It is this purple color. I love this stuff a lot. I was here up last time when it settles. It's kind of at the same point, but I need to dip in three times to get one thin coat on my nails. And even then, it looks horrible. So. I'm calling this quit. I don't want to anymore and I have other nail polish to focus on. Then I used up my Balance Me Instant Lift Pore Minimizer Primer. This did nothing for me at all. I don't know if my makeup stayed on longer or uh, what it did, but my pores didn't minimize. So it didn't do anything. It's kind of a gel texture and it's kind of a silicone texture so i don't really like it i more like the creamy versions and then we have my benefit the real tinted primer mascara i'm just sick of using this and i have i have had this open for like two three months now and it transfers into my concealer and that's not the point of mascara i did like this a lot for my bottom lashes but i'm not i'm just sick of it you know i will not buy the full size of that I will show you the more makeup-ish products first and then go on to the skincare. Firstly, I have this Tease 20 Cosmetics Face Powder in 301 Feather Light. I have this on today as my setting powder. I love this stuff a lot. It is so finely milled that you can't really see that I have used it. I have used this since my drop 
10 before summer update when I finish my other powder. So I have used this for almost two weeks, but you can't really see I have used it. So yeah, this may be taking longer than I expected it to. Then we have this Gush Overnight Primer Oil Essence and it is an oil you put on at night and then your skin is kind of primed to the next day. I have not tried it for a primer because I have oily skin and this is almost just like a facial oil. So if you saw my Project Pen Roulette you will know I'm not a fan of facial oils. So this is going to take a long time to use up. Then we have this Icona Milano Nail Polish in... I don't know what shade it is. It is a white sheet, you can see that. I'm down to here now, so I'm making pretty good progress on this. If I don't wear a base coat and a top coat, this will crack. Um, so I will have it cracked on my nails. So I don't really like this uh, nail polish, but I like it enough to work on it, you know. Then we have this Tease Trendy Cosmetics lipstick and it is in East Side. I love the packaging. I don't know if I have mentioned that. I have it on now underneath uh, the pink lip gloss in my drop tint before summer. Show you my markings. I have made just as much progress as I did last month. So I'm pretty consistent. So about here, something like that. This is a perfect peach nudie color for me and I love it for the summertime so I'm pretty excited to be using this. So I'm using it and I'm pretty excited about it and I am making very good progress. As you can see there's not that much left in it so I'm pretty excited about that so I'm pretty sure I can finish this by the end of the year. My trusty lip balm from Neutral Looks is still here. I have not been very good at using this to be honest so I don't think there's that much difference. I am using it and I will try to remember now that my drop tint before summer lip balm is gone. Then we have my Balance Me Tinted Wonder Eye Cream. I'm only down to here now. So it was completely full and now I'm down to here. Maybe a bit lower, not much. I only need that much when I'm putting it on. For a few weeks I thought I was uh, allergic to it because my eyes was very itchy. But it turns out it wasn't this, so I don't know what it is. My Royal Apothec Cream Moisturizing Body Cream thingy thingy. I don't know. It is this one. I love this stuff a lot. It is so moisturizing and thick. I'm down to here, so it was completely full and sealed when I put it in last month. And now I'm down to there, so I'm pretty excited about this. I have been focusing on another body lotion that you will see in a second. And then we have this Sartgefu Detox Face Cleansing Bar. So this is getting very thin. I love this stuff a lot and I don't break out, it doesn't dry my skin. My skin is very squeaky clean after I have used this, but if I just use a heavy moisturizer afterwards, it's okay. All that oil or something like that. Then I have my Yunani Dermov Defense Face Mask and I have been loving this stuff a lot so I'm down to here now. Last time I was up to here so I'm pretty sure I can have this done by the next update and I'm pretty excited about that because I just love this mask a lot and I really want to try a clay mask because I have oily skin and I have large pores so I really want to try another mask but I love this stuff a lot. I have this body lotion from Now Bay and I love the packaging of this. It is very moisturizing and lovely. It was completely full at the last update, now I'm down to here. So there's only one or two uses left, so this will absolutely be gone next update. I have used up a cleanser of this before, but I don't, I don't like the smell because it's very licorice and I don't like licorice as a candy. So Then we have my Your Boss hand cream here. I have had this since the first update. I'm pretty tired of this and I really want it gone. I might use this as a body cream just because I'm so tired of it or on my legs or something. 
I'm down to here, so I have made just a little bit of progress, but I have used it as some a few times. Then I have some items here that I don't have progress on. This is my Caramel Dew Wild Body Oil. I haven't used it. I have had it in my bathroom, but because it's a body oil, I don't use it because I use my body lotion, you know. might take this with me on vacation because if I get a sunburn, I'm pretty sure this oil can be very nice. And if I hurt, if my back hurts when we walk a lot in the summer, I can put this on and maybe that will calm it down because it is an energized therapeutic oil. Then you have this Ola's Beauty Fluid Day Normal Dry Combo Skin Lotion thingy. I'm still here! I'm so frustrated because I have used this a ton. Every single time I have done a mask, I use this and I use a lot. Oh, here! So annoying! I don't know what I'm doing wrong because I use a lot. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. And then I haven't used this. I just have focused on my Yunani face mask. So this is the Mikura, Mikura Golden Modeling Mask. Because I need to mix this and stuff. It's just messy. Then we will move on to my very ambitious and hard products I'm going to work on. If it was not going to be lotion, it was going to be these products. Maybe next update will be the last update that I am adding in stuff. I have so much stuff in this product. But I don't have any more products that I can add into the project. That's kind of cool actually so yeah let's just move on to the new products and you will see why i'm being ambitious because yeah, i don't want to do this uh, okay let's start off with the lotions i've already talked about this i finished up the sample of this this is the delante leave cream intensive hand cream i don't like this stuff but i'm going to use it anyway i don't know how i'm going to use this up when I'm working on this as well, then I have my Swatskov BC Bonacure Hair Therapy Oil Miracle Light Oil Shampoo thingy. This is a sample size and I will bring this with me on vacation. I actually think I will not use it for the next update. I will use it in after the next update. I have it in, okay? <laughs> Give it a break. I don't know how I'm going to use this because I'm pretty sure I need a glove with this, but I don't have one. It is the Vita Liberata Luxury Tan Fabulous Self Tanning Tinted Lotion. Okay, it's a lotion. I don't need that. I'm in Denmark and right now it's gloomy and windy and a bit rainy. So there's not that much sun, so I can't get a tan, so I will have this to help me. I have never opened this. So it looks like this. And it is a cute small size. It is 50 milliliters, so it's not that big of a deal. So I'm pretty sure I can have this done by two months or so. So over summer I will be pretty tan. Pretty excited about that. Okay, and the last thing that is not makeup. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't, don't say anything. <laughs> don't say anything. This is the M Assam Cosmetic. Ruba Body Chouffle. This looks like this. I'm pretty excited to be using this because it is sealed. So, but it smells so good. And I'm pretty sure rhubarb would be very nice for the summertime. So I'm pretty excited to be using this. This smells so good, you guys. And it's very thick. Oh my God, it's so nice. Oh, can't wait to use this. Okay, then I have two lip products. I need some time to work on these. That's my only excuse that I'm putting them in now so I can use them before the year is over. So the first one here is a lipstick. It is the Mimi Me Lip Glide and it is in the color, I don't know, <laughs> Playful Peach. So it's a very pretty coral. So it's much more bright than the Tease Cosmetics one. So I'm pretty sure this will be very pretty for the summertime. And of course I have marked it in my book here. So this is where I am now. So I think I need to sharpen this because it this is not doing anything. So I'm pretty sure I need to sharpen it. But I know for a fact it, it's not going all the way down to here. My second lip product is a product 
from Gosh Cosmetics. It is the Gosh Intense Lip Color and it is this beautiful purple-ish shade. So this is kind of a darker purple mauve tone but it is very very pretty and I'm pretty excited about this. So I'm down to here right now um, as you can see. It has a mirror on the side and on the top it is a flashlight you know. So if we are in somewhere dark and I can't see and I need to reapply, there's a light and I can reapply, you know, because there's a mirror. So that's pretty cool. So I will gladly wear these three on holiday this summer. So I'm pretty excited about these two actually. So I don't know how fast I'm going to get through them, but I am excited to be working on them. So because I have finished two nail polishes, it was only right to put another one in. And this is the Catrice Cosmetics Ultimate Nail Lacquer in one 108, the very very best. I have used it only once so there's no progress lines. I'm up to here so I'm very excited to be using this because this is so pretty for the summer because it's not that dark on my nails as it is in the tube or bottle or something. This product I do have it in another project but in that product I'm only going to hit pan on it so I'm going to just pan it in this project in, gen in general and hoping to finish it by the end of the year. This is a neutral Lux bronzer and I'm using this as my contour shade because it's a more cool toned bronzer and if you have seen my rolling pan intro you would, see, you would have seen this was a gold overspray on this. I don't know why but there was. So this looks a bit different but I have been focusing on this side over here. Hopefully in the next few months you will see pan on this. I don't think I can have it finished by the end of the year but I will try my best to. So this is the Bella Pia Cosmetics Illuminating Bronzer in Peony. Pio Peony? Pio Peony? So it's a loose powder bronzer thingy. I'm not going to use this as a bronzer because it's very light. Okay, I'm pale, you know. <laughs> it is so illuminating that I think I'm going to use this as a loose shadow or something. So if you have any tips on you how to use loose shadows, please let me know. But it is so beautiful. So I'm pretty excited to be working on that. When I do this, this is half full, but there's a lot in the lid. So I will mark this afterwards, but um, yeah, I'm about halfway. I haven't used it more than two times. Then we have this Gush Nail Glitter. So when your um, nail polish is wet, you need to put this on. And that is quite cool, I think. So this is a, a gold glitter. I thought it would be pretty on these two colors. I have never used this before. I'm pretty sure it's sealed. It's sealed, but it's, it is a glitter. So it is already all over the place. So this video is long as usual, <laughs> I'm so sorry, but in a few updates there will be no longer products I can add into this product, so don't worry, it won't be that long for the rest of the year. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed anyway, and I'm pretty excited to be working through these smaller products. And uh, this is going to be a challenge because I have a lot of lip products I'm working on right now. And I really try not to put lip products into my other project pans because I know there's a lot now. But on the makeup bits, I'm not rushing through it because I have all year. Um, so that kind of calms me down. But I'm trying my hardest to use my products. I will really aim. In the description box, I will have listed what I'm working on and what I have finished up. And the list is long. <laughs> so I have about... 20, 30 products I am working on at the time. It is a lot, I know, but that's how my life is right now. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you will check out the other ladies down below. As usual, I hope you will subscribe to my channel and click the bell button to get notified when I upload and please follow my social media here on the screen. And remember there is links to my playlist product pants over the years for, for my other channel. That's why I made the new channel to do product pants only and what you want to see in general. And they will be in the description box. 
So that's why there's no videos on this channel and this is my update 5 or something. So I hope to see you guys in my next video and I hope you are doing well until then. Bye guys!